This is my Traxxas E-Max, the new one, water resistant. I got me a VXL currently on. I got my uh, plate here waiting and ready for my other one. Got this one currently on with Velcro for right now. Um, I ordered some wire cables and extension cords from Hong Kong because as you know the wires are very short I ordered some taggy motor fan and stuff I got a lot of stuff coming in check back in a week from now and this baby was gonna look like a champ I got spinners coming in um, I got uh, aluminum mounts I'm gonna put underneath I broke my front bulkhead when I first got it um, I got a skull that I'm putting there. I cut those out so I can put straps in so I can put better battery packs. They work good as drain holes too. I put a drain hole down here. I removed the plastics. Didn't decrease much weight but they're unneeded parts. Start removing unneeded parts you'll lose quite a bit of weight after a while. Um, I'm gonna get the bulkheads metal. I mean aluminum, um, some kind of aircraft aluminum. All the parts I'm doing right now are blue so far. Very nice. Um, what you see right here is my first car that I worked on, really, really worked on. It's a Traxxas VXL, what well, was, until I put it in my model there and speak to it. It's got the aluminum mounts and everything. I just got to put it back together a little bit. I have to put the servo back on and stuff. Um, this plate here is very nice. It kind of looks like a skull. i got to put the screws back down. I put LED lights here in the front. They are very nice when they're they're on. They shine perfectly straight on the perfect circle. It looks actually just like one light bulb. The speed control goes on these mounts right here. Um, this you can plug this into a 9 volt battery or whatever and then you got a switch right here to turn it on and off um, I never got the other tranny cape part yet but I plan on getting that sometime soon I lost this ride in the cap um, I made these out of graph. I got these made out of graphite I bought off the internet because you know they're the arms and everything they do flex a little bit and obviously aluminum don't flex it bends and I learned that the hard way and then the shock towers I wouldn't buy aluminum again I'd probably buy something from RPM my next build I definitely wouldn't do it exactly the same way and I definitely like to chase this a lot it's made by Fastlane Mechanics so I can tag parts on here now, I got the bigger hub carriers 5 8 inch because I went through two pairs of the, the regular ones already I still have yet to put them on um, I just got these tires they're actually pretty old I got to glue them on and everything uh, they're very nice um, that's my Rustler VXL now here is what I made out of parts this is pretty much like a brand new car I mean they had a couple parts I had to buy. I got the speed control coming in. I got a decent motor in right now. It's a speed gem, uh, 14 turn motor. Pretty fast, a lot faster than the 12 turn stock motor. A hell of a lot faster. And plus, you can take it apart and everything, and that's a lot better. Um, right here. When I flip this up like this, and I'm driving, the buttons underneath, this bounces and stuff, but it makes it change. It's very cool. It turns on and off by itself. All the shoe laces from uh, um, sheets. They're like five dollars. Type pair there in the back. It's very cool. They got three settings: solid, off, was. And then it's quick blink, slower blink, and it's solid. Very cool. Uh, I just wrapped them around my arms and stuff. Uh, it's very cool.
Yeah, RPM arms on here, bumper. I got the CVDs coming in to the back. I got the drive shaft coming in for her. Um, I got the Venom speedometer. And then I got uh, the temp gauge right back here. In between my shock tower fits in there perfectly. Obviously, you don't get much length in the motor to there. Um, just a couple more things I'm gonna. I got coming in. Never buy the aluminum Traxxas links ever because they break very, very easily. I go with titanium right off the bat. Cost twice as much, but you're gonna break your aluminum once in one day. Um, I put these on, I ordered off the net. Would have been smarter just go to a hardware store and I would have been able to buy it and make it myself. Yes. This is um I'm making a video. This is a aftermarket air filter. When I put that thing on from the other one, man, you should have seen it. It uh it just it just blew. It was like going by itself. I had to readjust it. It obviously increased airflow by a shitload. And uh, so far I got seventy miles per hour on here. I'm screwing with the gear in a little bit. Um uh, I gotta fix my idling a little bit. Uh, it's pushing, obviously, so I gotta set my idling screw and uh, do the pinch test to get it fully tuned in. But uh, I do have it broken. Everything's going so good right now. I just have to get a small enough screwdriver so I can reach it in there and get that idling screw. And then uh, that's the high temperature needle, right? high speed needle here. The idling screw will be back in there. It's the motor. It's the flathead. Yeah. You have to take this garbage out. There's shit um, all over the floor over here. I put a smaller clutch gear on. I like this. Yeah. That's about it. I get off the clean. I want you to get off the clean. I like to, you know, do my shit before I go around and see that.